Hi everyone and welcome to another video on high yield screening guidelines. Today, osteoporosis. Let's get started. We screen for osteoporosis all women above 65 years of age. And we screen with the DEXA scan, which stands for Dual Energy X-ray Absorption Metry. So if the DEXA scan is normal, say at 65 years, then you can repeat it in another 10 years. But there are some special situations where you start screening earlier, earlier than 65 years of age. Such patients are patients who are on chronic corticosteroid therapy, who are currently smoking, who are currently abusing and using a lot of alcohol, who have family history of hip fracture, and who have overall FRAC score, which stands for Fracture Risk Assessment Tool, which is calculated, which is more than or equal than 9.3%. Remember this uh, number, you're gonna get tested on this one. So how do we interpret the DEXA score? Actually, we use the DEXA T score here because we have DEXA Z score. And here DEXA T score compares the bone density of your patient to a bone density of a woman who's 30 years of age. So if the DEXA T score is between minus 1 and minus 2.4, then you diagnose osteopenia. But if the DEXA T score is more or equal than minus 2.4, then you have diagnosed osteoporosis. And which specifically patients are at increased risk of developing osteoporosis? The patients who are Caucasian, who have vitamin D deficiency, who have sedentary lifestyle, all postmenopausal women, we know that estrogen has protective effect on the bone, and people with malabsorption syndrome. And we're going to finish this video with guidelines of who do we treat for osteoporosis. So we treat patients with diagnosed osteoporosis depending on the DEXATI score that we just discussed, or they have been diagnosed with osteopenia, but additionally they have FRAC score for general fracture more than 20%, or they have FRAC score for hip fracture more than 3%. Please remember this number, the FRAC score is very heavily tested. Or patients with fragility fracture, also called fall fracture, basically if a patient falls down and breaks a bone very easily, then you start treating for osteoporosis as well. Or the patient has history of vertebral or hip fracture. And how do we treat real quick? The preferred drugs are bisphosphonates like alendronate, uh, zoolandronic acid, etc. But if the patient uh, has side effect of bisphosphonates, which is most commonly GI symptoms, that's why they always advise the patient to sit upright at least one hour after they take an oral pill because bisphosphonates can cause erosive esophagitis. Also, by the way, bisphosphonates, they block the osteoclasts. That's why they're very, very helpful in treating, in treating osteoporosis. So if you have side effects of bisphosphonates, then you can try giving them a raloxifene. Raloxifene is a serum drug, a selective estrogen receptor modulator, and can also increase the activity of the osteoblasts. But more on the mechanism of action of all serums, in our five minute short videos, I will be preparing this lecture very soon. And if they have very, very severe signs and symptoms that are not controlled with bisphosphonates or raloxifene, you can uh, give them teriparatide. Teriparatide is a PTH analog. PTH is parathyroid hormone and also activates the osteoblast to form more bone. Raloxifen and teriparatide you can give them only in postmenopausal women. And uh, for painful fractures here, we have calcitonin acts by inhibiting the osteoclasts again. Also keep in mind that two years after the initiation of your therapy, you should perform a DEXA scan again to see for any improvements. And this was the uh, end of our osteoporosis screening guidelines video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it and it's been helpful to you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you again and see you on the next video.